testing one two three testing so hello again guys um, today I'm going to be playing 2002 FIFA World Cup Japan in uh, one of the most nostalgic games of the World Cup pretty much the first um, game that was uh, created for the World Cup and this was back in 2002 when Korea and Japan pretty much host the World Cup um, you know a lot of a lot of cool features in this game um, which of course I'll show you later on but uh, let's play the World Cup and I'm going to be playing as you know what I'm going to be playing as Italy let's see if Italy can deliver this time save game yes so these are the team management formation looking good settings four minutes um, just going to play as amateur go to all the way to the final so let's play Sapporo Stadium so I pretty much played this game about a um, few years back when I was, you know, a small kid during the 2002 FIFA World Cup. And this is pretty much a nostalgic. I uh, still remember these um, where you where the star player always had the fireball when, when they kicked the ball. Um, but the atmosphere was really, really stunning. I think one of the most memorable FIFA World Cups. Um, I think this was the start generation of the FIFA World Cup of FIFA. And then 2006, 2010, 2014, and 2018. Which I think um, was really the first time FIFA really had a special game for the World Cup. So let's start. I don't, ironically, they don't really have the commentary for this one. Um, so I'm not sure why, but it's okay. Don't really care about that. So Italy versus Portugal. This is actually based on the 2002 group. It looks really different the gameplay compared to today's more, um, you know, soft play, more re realistic play. Let's see if the shot a goal. What a goal that was! Italy scores first. I just love the celebration of it. Uh, the with the World Cup uh, banner and running away and all. Really looks um, realistic. At that time, it really was realistic. Uh, you know, back in 2002. Let's take the ball again, surely is 2-0 Christian Iberi I think almost every player in this in this game has either you know I think retired. I think nobody's still playing after 16 years. Italy the champions of 26 2006 knowingly that they will become champions in four years time. This game was pretty much the first game, was first realistic FIFA game uh, of the World Cup edition. Oh, come on, Ecuador! Passing to the keeper. Let me show you the uh, the fireball uh, star player. And you have that running effect as well, when they run you have that splash of it. Oh, that's the ball! <laughs> that's the fireball! 2-0. The 
can get so far. Oh my word. Uh oh. Oh my word, a red card. If you ask me, this is pretty much the best, you know, eventful World Cup and the best game. I remember playing this, um, you know, years after the World Cup ended in 2006, 2004, because, I don't know, something about this game that, that really um, tells you, the, the, you know, the, the PS, the uh, thrill of the World Cup, which I think since then did not really... You know, even in 2008 was pretty much, I think 2010 a lot of people were also <coughs> telling the game was quite good. Oh no! Oh! Fireball. Forty five minutes have gone, and it's two nil to Italy. I think Italy were knocked out in the quarterfinals, not mistaken. Against South Korea in real life. France this year. Let's go to the second half. Come on, let's make it 4-0, 4-0 challenge before the first half. Let's look at the players, Thomas C, I don't remember Thomas C, Inzaghi, okay, at least I don't know who Inzaghi is. Oh, Totti, not sure is it Totti, I think that is Totti. This was the era of arrows. For FIFA games, but I really liked it. I mean, until even now, I don't really feel bored playing it. I mean, it's still the nostalgia of the 2002 World Cup. What a hit! Inzaghi. You also have Albertini. I'm not sure who Albertini is. And I love the tackles, so rough tackles. can even slight the keeper but you're gonna get a red card, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, unless I'm winning 4-0. Oh, <laughs> this is so FIFA 2002, where you have tackles, oh, almost an own goal, Wait, where you have tackles like, really seem so violent. Come on! Yes! Go, 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 go! Run away! Oh, almost a red card there. <laughs> you can't even press D to. Uh... Q Keeper! Oh! I think in 2002 FIFA World Cup they started to have this 
they started to make realistic uh, stadiums and faces and jerseys, you know, uh, which happened in 2001. But also they started to make, um, and this was the only FIFA to have the fireball, which is really uh, pretty much renowned for that, the fireball effect. Oh, keeper is beaten there. Come on, Italy, go on. And I go. Oh. <laughs> That's all. Come on. Come on, referee. It's not a red card. Nah, get out. Damiano Tomasi. I think all the players have become pundits in this game. for the first game let's go on to the second one you're playing Croatia the um, standing board Tunisia Uruguay Spain this were the groups in 2002 I don't think any more score now play next game Croatia, the finalists of the 2018 World Cup. I think this time Croatia was still strong because 1998 they were in the fourth place. There were a lot of good teams that were knocked out early in 2002. I think Italy were one of them, Spain, um, uh, France, I remember in the semi-final they were only like Turkey and Korea and Brazil and uh, Germany. Oh my god. Oh! Conceded the first goal for Mario Stanic. See if I can score from touch line. Oh, normally it would. Come on, Italy. Oh no. Demiano, Demiano, to my seat again with the yellow card. And who guess who the keeper is still Buffon? So yes, only the keeper is still playing to this very day in 2018. Buffon is currently, as this video goes, playing for PSG. And just you know, this guy just ageless, 16 years on, playing on. Of course, not a striker, but a goalkeeper. But still, a lot of keepers at his age were you know just not playing anymore. Come on! Equalizer from Inzaghi, brilliant. Mm. If only they had that fine ball in the replay, it really stood up. Mm. Croatia jersey, it's so iconic to this day. No penalty. 
healthy. Come on. <coughs> Just a sock tap in. Oh, where's the keeper? What? Shit. What is happening like that? Oh, man. Bundled it, Christian Everi. What a goal! Now that's quick equalizer. Now I thought I put an amateur so that I can sail through all the way to the finals, but this is 2 2, man, in a group stage game. So just imagine, it's not that easy. Inzaghi, surely! Inzaghi! No! Oh, word. Oh, beauty! Inzaghi! Second goal. Let's look at the cross. Beautiful pass. Lovely goal. I love the atmosphere, the lighting, the, the night lighting. It really, really you know, feels very festive. He's going all the way. Come on. Surely. Surely. Oh, oh that's a brilliant Patrick Hero in Zagi. I love in 2002 where you can just dribble the ball and the score. Uh, of course, in 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 an amateur you can do that. now Pose is so thick. I think it's not really that realistic, but it's not mean that thick. Pretty much the last World Cup which Brazil won. All right, half a free kick. I oh, look, you can also curl the ball. It. It's a brilliant goal. Oh. Offside. They already had this offside technology back in FIFA. Come 
come on, let's go all the way. to Italy, we're going to the next round. Oh, let's tackle the keeper. Oh man, I wanted to get a red card. Oh man, Shukor. Now let's see if I can score from this. Oh, there you have it! Filippo Inzaghi scores from the middle of the goal. Yes, you can always score from that. What a beauty. That's the beauty of FIFA 2002 World Cup. The balls are just thundering. Ooh, injured him. <laughs> wow, that is such a massive tackle. minute already injured his thigh <laughs> oh I missed to tackle it Filippo Inzaghi, hat-trick hero, puts Italy into the round of 16 with one more game to play. See, I love the fa I love the celebrations. It really looks, you know, very World Cup-ish, I say. I think that was the strength of this game. It really had the celebrations and all. For the first time in FIFA, I think, we really never had this sort of uh, World Cup, this... Uh, this um festive I think. So the next round of three, Mexico, let's finish it. In Quita Stadium. Come on, Italy! Oh, we almost blend with the field. You can actually change. You can't change jerseys. That's one thing. Oh, almost there. Oh, uh oh! I really don't mind to lose this game because it's uh, actually uh, ready. Francisco Totti. The Italian legend. I think Totti was still young in 2002. 
I'm not sure. Yes, he did. He actually was in the Italy squad team in 2006. I'm not really sure. I think he was. Or he retired. I'm not sure. I think he retired from international football. How long this game is? Well, pretty much. I think it was long. 16 years. France are World Cup winners again. That's how long this game is. The last time this game came out, they were defending champions. Now they are World Cup winners again. France, champions of 20. Yes, I tackled the keeper. Uh oh, red card. So that is one feature you can tackle the keeper in this game. Kiriko Inzaghi. <laughs> Oops. With the throwing, they have this sort of. I uh, haven't really crossed since this game. Oh! Couldn't score the goal. It was Inzaghi, I think. back in the replays as well, I think that will be really superb. Vieri. Now in 2002, Brazil were the champions and that Brazil team was unstoppable. Ronaldo, Rivaldo, a prime, I mean not really prime, a young Ronaldinho, it's really, really superb. Uh oh, another yellow card. Since then, we had, I think, all European champions: Italy, uh, Spain, Germany, uh, and France. Not sure what the next World Cup though, which is in Qatar of 2002-2022. I really think that you know, it's time for you know teams like Brazil, the South American teams, to win it again. Awesome. Yeah, kind of feel it's the moment. So, oh, what a miss! Oh, another miss! Oh my word! What an it! Unlucky, lucky me. Mexico just too unlucky. Italy didn't even qualify for the last World Cup. Um, really, pretty much not the best era of Italian football in this last couple of years. I think haven't been really uh, strong. I think even the Champions League, you know, with the last Italian tie to beat, he has a chance of Vieri to make it two. No. Del Piero, another legend of the Italian game. I think kids these days don't really know. I mean, I'm, I'm 23, so if you're like below, if you're 13 years old, you don't really grow up. And your first World Cup probably was during 2006, 2010, maybe. So many legends back then, I mean, before Messi, Ronaldo, they were just so many legends, which I think 
was you know I think it was better compared to you know you had all, you know every year Baladio you have like much more surprise than just knowing that only Messi and Ronaldo are the only two competitors. Let's go all the way, you know. Oh. Oh no. That's gone, my strikers. Totti is out. Oh my word. Thank God I'm already qualified to the next round. If not, I'm gonna be dead. But maybe I'll just score one more! Still score! Del Piero! Because who cares? In the end of the day, it's how many goals you score. Not fair play. 2 0 Italy looking good for finishing top of the group. Another goal for Alejandro Del Piero. Second goal for him. And we are looking stronger and stronger in this World Cup. Can we change the history of 2002? Make Italy champions. Gameplay changed so far in that last year of FIFA. Just stand there, making this for oh. Oh, he injured this guy. Blanco injured his knee. Three nil, clean sheet. All looking good. Let's see who we meet in the second round. Oh, I love the tricks. Oh, we're gonna play USA, Spain, Germany, Germany, uh, Spain has won. So already the history has been reversed. Portugal, Mexico, Sweden and Senegal. Republic Ireland, Paraguay, Spain, Germany. Turkey, Belgium, Tunisia and Brazil. Uruguay has beaten England, Senegal has beaten Switzerland, has beaten Sweden, Germany, Paraguay go through. So I'm going to save this game now and we'll be back for more next time around.